Martin! Welcome back. It's time once again for another Statman Day vlog. This time we're going to go to the home leg of Manchester United versus Sevilla in the Champions League for a place in the quarterfinals of the competition. This is going to be one hell of a game. It's Champions League weather, as you can see. It's a bit later in the year, a little bit sunnier in Manchester. Of course, make sure to subscribe if you're new to me, Statman Dave, and of course, like that goddamn video. Let's get this party started. out for Manchester United, a 4-2-3-1 Marrow Flaney in midfield. Also Jess Lingard comes in for one matter. The only thing I can think of there is the extra physicality that Flaney will bring in deep in midfield, of course. Sad to see Scott McTominay miss out, but that haircut. Oh my god, he deserves to be in the starting lineup for rocking that. What a nutter. seems to be holding Fellaini, Manmark and Eva Benega a moment, but a pretty nice challenging, very heavy in the first four minutes of the game, so looking good. In tree time, what a feeling, what a night. United when they're playing in town, get yourself that football ground, take a lesson, you will see football top by Matt Busby.
that's the left hand side. Or maybe no, Lingard to the right, Rashford's the left, and then put like Sanchez set for charging. You're gonna get a lot more out of him. There's no intensity on the severe defensive midfielders. They're having too much time on the ball. Yeah, you wanna go man to man on them. No, you don't. Just even Benega, even Zonzi. No need to touch him. Lad can't play a pass forward. Frustrating in the first half, Manchester United not really getting close to Eva Benega running the show. Completed 49 of his 52 passes, created three chances. It's one of these things where United should be playing a 4 4 1 1 and having an attacking midfielder and the striker dealing with Eva Benega and not the two central midfielders. It's ruining Manchester United's build up. Both Fellaini and Lingard are looking to push on and not really support the Manja Matic in defensive midfield. You know, someone like a Paul Pogba could be vital in this game to come on and really change it and hold for deep in midfield. I think the big thing pre game was playing long to Lukaku and allowing Lukaku to bring in you know the attacking midfielders around him it looks like United are going with Maro and Fellaini it just seems like it's not needed and someone like Lukaku could do the job that Fellaini is doing right now and then you know for Fellaini there's a ball playing player in central midfield or Scott McTominay it's just a bit frustrating in that first half for United not good enough on the ball if Paul Pogba comes on maybe he can find Marcus Rashford in those advanced areas not enough from Manchester United from deep midfield he's been Man United's best attacker I want to see more balls to Marcus Rashford in that wide area. He's creating things on the right-hand side. Maybe in the second half, move him to the left. Sanchez to number 10 and Lingard to right midfield and play two holding midfielders. If it is Fellaini, that's fine. Fellaini and Matic supporting each other. But more ball to Marcus Rashford. Central midfield pretty much playing Maron Flaney's position, but he's going to be involved more on the ball to massively help United's build up. He's been sloppy so far. And I'm below to Trafford, see United, to New Man United's number nine, Bravo Lulu Kaku!
been a bit wrong. Matt on the pitch, his movement and ability to get into the line. He's been missing his game. He actually looks so boring at 5 4. seven chances against Manchester United, 17 in the two legs, United just didn't get a hold of him. Well, 
as always next year.